Well, it's very warm welcome to the program to Dylan Walker. Warriors playing on Saturday night against the Storm. Thank you so much for joining us, mate. Appreciate your time. Hey, fellas. Good afternoon. Thanks for having me. Can tell you, I just read the weather forecast, and while I was doing that, I was just checking Saturday to see how we're going. Uh, sun breaking through, my friend, a high of 16 degrees. That sounds better, doesn't it? Uh, that's, that's that's music to my ears, though. Oh. We're not so good in the wet, so... I'm glad that it's uh, the sun's peeking through at the right time. Uh, let's just go back to North Queensland, mate. What a hell of a performance that was. I mean, would would you consider that to be, if not the best amongst, certainly the best 20 minutes you played this year at the start of that game? Yeah, I think so, mate. We um we started really strong and fast. Um, I think that's probably just helps for the bye week as well. We, you know, freshen up the bodies. Um, the boys were all chomping at the bit to get out there and put in a good performance and um, I think in that first 20 minutes, it, it also helps that, you know, North Queensland were making a few errors and giving us some leg up. So um, it all plays a part. Everything has a, a has a purpose. And, mate, just lucky enough that we got to put points on the board and um, run away with it. Look, it was error-free, but we've started like a rocket in so many games. I mean, I even go back to the first game of the season, of course, you know, but at times we've scored points, at times we haven't. It all seemed to come together, didn't it, that, that uh, first 20? Yeah, just... Uh, yeah, I think because our game and what we're focusing on each and every week is just, it's become so simple and that's just, you know, um, run hard, um, get a quick play the ball for your mate behind you and um, once it comes to the last tackle, everyone's just hopping in on the kick chase and, you know, just sort of suffocate teams and I think uh, every team wants to do that but I think we've just really brought that to our attention and to the forefront of our attention that if we do that and it's been happening in the last few weeks where you know, if we put our energy into that, then it's gonna it's gonna pay us back uh, at the end of the games. And um, you know, when it gets tough, we just don't want to be that team that breaks first. So um, you know, a lot goes into it. But I'm just glad that we were able to build pressure off it, um, complete our sets, and then you know, just stick to those processes where we're just kicking, and then everyone just hopping on a keep chase. Dylan, when when it goes well like that, it's a very simple game, isn't it? Yeah, sometimes you can, <clears throat> in those those weeks that we were losing, we were sort of focusing on a lot of things other than, you know, our key chase and our tackling. And I think that was, we probably were going away from uh, what works, to be honest. And I think we dumbed it right down because the personnel was out. And it sort of played off where in our favour that if we do those things, good things are going to come off it. And, you know, we've seen when we played Penrith, Dolphins, um, and the Cowboys now that those are the pillars that we want to hold our standards to each and every week because it, you know success has come off the back of it and um, you know we're, we're going to be saying the same things each and every week now um, with minor details and game plan but um, everyone knows what they have to do on board um, with our ruck control and you know playing the ball fast and then kick chasing so it's a it's a real simple game plan um, and it's working for us you know very well. You're too hard on yourself, dumbing it right down. We had Stacey on the program on Monday, and he called it being really simple and going back to basics. So when you say dumbing it right down. But he said exactly the same thing. Myself and Tony Kemp were in here doing the podcast, mate, and he said, you know, just ask him what has changed. And he said, look, nothing really has changed other than what we've done is just reinforce. Let's just do this well, do this well, do this well, and then things will come off the back of it. That's exactly the same as what you've just said, mate. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, I actually just got off the phone to Stacey before, and we just... Asking him what he said on the radio so I can just allude and <laughs> retweet what he was saying. <laughs> you, you've started all three of the last games, the three wins at the back of the scrum playing playing lock. Is that the favoured position for you? Yeah, I think it's just how my game has developed over the last few years. Um, it's just so, sort of suited the way the game's gone as well, where, um, you know, a bit of ball playing in the middle um, doesn't really, it takes the pressure off of being a half trying to figure out uh, where you want to be, where you want to <clears throat> end up at, and I think lock is it's an important role to important piece. So to sort of get you know the big boys around the park, so our hubs can sort of um, you know just think freely. And it's just I, I like that sense of direction and that control, but and then also just not having the pressure of being a you know a half where I can run the ball um, and then sort of just take over with that. And man, I think. I'm just really enjoying what I do in the middle um, and just how it's sort of played out. And it's where I think my best, best position is.
to be honest. When you're willing, when you're winning, Dylan, does it all seem a lot easier? Does it all seem a lot simpler? And I want to contrast that, obviously, with you know the four losses after the draw with Manly as well, and 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 how you kind of come to work every week and actually and and try and reposition, re, 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 re focus yourself after like four defeats in a row. Yeah, it's a, like I said before, mate. It's we had people that are probably playing through injuries, um, some sore bodies out, um, going around you know, our tack and saying, like, we need this, we need that. And, you know, when we had that game against Penrith, we had a lot of boys um, pull out through injury, uh, which they probably needed a bit of a freshen up. And when you get new guys come in or younger guys, you want to make it as simple as as you can with them. And um, it's, it's a bit cliche, but it's just running hard sure, that's right. and tapping hard. Um, and then we just added the kick chase into it because it's those little things is where a lot of... Yeah, and you know, a lot of people don't want to do, but if you do then those things really well, um, you're going to get good things and you're going to get momentum really easy. And that's what we sort of identified. And you know, when it when it worked and came through, we just doubled down again the next week. Um, and I think a part of all those simple things, it's just our resilience. Those last um, three weeks have been too, where we've stayed real connected, we've stayed real close. Um, not sort of thinking too far ahead or thinking what's happened, you know, two or three sets beforehand. And, you know, it's just everyone being real present, real clear on what they have to do um, in, in that set. And, you know, you, you can't sort of dwell on the losses, um, but you can count your wins. And But you've just got to stay real clear and present on what your, your next job is. And I think that's the mentality that everyone's had. And, mate, it's been awesome. You know, it's, a, it's been a bit of a journey up and down roller coaster. Oh, yeah, for sure. But, yeah, yeah, but I think we've come out the other end and just made it real clear about um, how our game looks like, how we want to play and how we want to sort of attack each game. And, you know, it starts from, you know, Monday morning when you're coming in, doing video, uh, revisiting the game um, the, the week before, and everyone's just sort of bought in. And, and it's it's hard work, and we've...